Hello and welcome back to Curator's Corner. We're going to learn about another familiar artist that we've actually already gone over once before, but her name is Kay Acklin. And like I said previously, she does have a few works in our permanent collection, and they're very diverse in subject matter. And so today we're going to learn more about her work, Abstract One. The last time we talked about her, we talked about her gestural genre scene watercolor titled Basking, and so we're going to learn how she transfers that same energy and that same fluidity into her abstract work as well. Although you may be used to seeing her genre scenes or her landscapes, in her later works she has preferred more of this exploratory in the abstract. And if she can transfer and evoke the same type of viewer engagement and response as some of her earlier works gave her. In a similar scheme to color, she's really kind of kept the same muted, mellow color scheme. And, and the point of that is really to keep the, even though bright colors obviously grab the attention of viewers in a museum setting or in a gallery setting, hers are very warm and they're very inviting and they allow us to, and they allow us as viewers to linger a bit more. As you can see, it is an abstract and it is a collage as well. There are actually paper uh, pieces glued to this particular abstract that gives it kind of this edge, kind of these unexpected sharp shapes within these more um, dynamic, a little bit more loose watercolor gestures right through here. Oh, and you can actually see like some versions of letters. So you see an R and an M and an O an L and an A, and this really encourages the viewer like, well, what's she doing? Is she trying to spell something? What's the point of this? And she's really engaging the viewer kind of on all levels. She wants them to approach her work and explore the actual composition and asking the question, can I get the same response if I include other materials in my work? Um, and, and like I said, Previously, a lot of her work has to do with creativity and ambition and really spontaneity, and this really demonstrates that. Thank you for joining us for another Curator's Corner. We hope to see you next time.